welcome to On The Curves, I'm your host Team Alves Daily. Joining me today is Formula Woman competitor Isla McKenzie. We caught up recently to chat about why she wanted to progress from working behind the scenes in motorsport to getting into the driver's seat, and what got her into motorsport to begin with, and much, much more. I hope you enjoy our conversation. Hi, Ayla. Thank you for being here today. First of all, how are you? I'm good, thanks. And um, thank you for inviting me here. How are you? My pleasure. I'm pretty good, thank you. So the first thing I'd like to ask everyone who comes on here, uh, tell us a bit about yourself. Yes, yeah, so I'm 27 years old and currently living down near Oxford. Um, and, well, obviously, from the accent, you can probably tell <laughs> I'm Scottish. The natural um, Oxford accent, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I'm from the Isle of Lewis, which is in the Western Isles um, in Scotland. And I currently work at Mercedes HPP as an engine test technician. Um, so Not a bad gig if you can get it. <laughs> yeah, so I've kind of been in F1 for about four years now. Um, and I did Does it feel real yet? Um it's funny, sometimes you get complacent and then you, you're like, oh my God, this is my dream job. <laughs> kind of third person moments, like, wait a minute, what's going yeah. on? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, it's not really real um, yet. And yeah, I did motorsport design engineering at university. Um, and I was going to yeah, say, what, um, what first got you into motorsport? Was that always just something you loved or what, what got you, what gave you the bug? Um, I think it is just in me. Um, my dad had a farm, so I was always kind of driving from, well, young, young, <laughs> on, young. yeah, quads or whatever on the farm. Um, so I loved driving and zooming around on anything I could. Um, and then when I was old enough to pass my test, I always had kind of modified cars and kind of put different engines in them and stuff to try and make faster um so I didn't really think of making a career out of it initially um mm. till I actually discovered that I could study motorsport engineering and stay in Scotland so yeah it's just kind of grown from there so you kind of two birds one stone there you managed to get everything yeah. out of there and it worked out it looks like it's going pretty well anyway <laughs> yeah it is actually <laughs> and what is it about the engineering side of things that you love so much think I love well I probably unpopular opinion but I did love maths <laughs> at school someone's got to yeah yes yeah, someone has to do it um and love the problem solving and also the team side um of things like I don't think now that I've worked in like a motorsport team environment I could work on my own ever um because <laughs> it's nice it's like a really good atmosphere and Hmm. Um, a competitive environment which is good and yeah just so it love. sounds like the right elements to have for a team though you don't want dysfunctional yeah. ones at the end of the day and I mean Mercedes being Mercedes I'm sure they're they're all right at teamwork <laughs> yeah they're pretty good <laughs> um, so then what does the opportunity to switch things up a bit with Formula Woman mean to you then it's literally like I feel like it's come up at the perfect time for me um, because if I could have done anything, if money was no um, issue, then I probably would have never gone to university. I've just gone racing. <laughs> Can't blame you, to be fair. Yeah. So um, I kind of buried that dream and um, well, obviously went off to university and focused on my career, which I also obviously love. And I, I don't know, I guess after lockdown, everyone, you kind of think differently. Mm. about how short life is and how well if you don't do it now when will you do it and then someone um sent me a link to formula woman and i was like oh they my read, goodness they read your mind. <laughs> yeah i was like is this actually a thing it, you know usually the first thing i would look at when i'd see these things is the age limit because usually it's up to 16 yeah. years old or but this was any age limit you don't have to have raced before um, with a really low entry fee and a huge prize. So I just jumped at the chance. 
And so don't don't need to ask any of you that are competing twice when about this kind of thing. You're just like, yeah, no, I'm going to definitely go for it. Why, why wouldn't yeah. I? Yeah, yeah. I've just it's literally a, a dream come true, and I feel like I'm finally quite settled, um, kind of in my job and kind of happy with that bit for now. So. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Perfect. Time to mix things up again. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. So then what have you been doing to prepare so far? So I've been doing a bit of karting, um, which was quite an experience <laughs> as well. Um, in a good or a bad way? <laughs> um, kind of... Well, I've done better than I thought I would. Um, it was you're, quite... You're, you're a natural, you mean. You're being modest. <laughs> well, <laughs> better not say too much in case I come last, <laughs> um but yeah I I pretty much had zero karting experience like the odd team sport day with friends here and there or um a few things with work people when I was at Williams but that was very much people who had been karting a long time and it was super competitive (laughs) so threw you in the deep end a little bit there yeah so and I didn't really enjoy it then because I was just kind of like pushed off the track (laughs) having to trail along but um, this is the first time in my life I've actually gone round a track thinking about trying to go fast. Um, so I've been doing some karting and really enjoying that and had a track day at Goodwood um, on Friday and I've got a few other bits um, planned as well. Plenty to keep you busy. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> on top of the job and this, it's like 20 Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, and... To be fair, at least it's at least you're enjoying all the aspects of it. You know, it's, it's it probably that probably helps a lot on the mental side of things, I suppose. I know, and who needs sleep anyway? <laughs> exactly. When you were saying earlier, life's too short. Well, there you go. There's yeah, <laughs> that's literally what I said to my mom. She said, "Oh, you look really tired." I was like, "Thanks." But <laughs> Thank, thanks <for> that. <laughs> I said, "I'll sleep when I'm dead." <laughs> Always with the cheerful thoughts. <laughs> Who's your favorite racing driver of all time? Oh, of all time. Mm. That is a tough one. I was thinking of like maybe Scottish, but then you've either just got a choice between Jackie Stewart and DC. So it's, it's yeah, not, DC. not too tough, that one. Or <laughs> Susie. Or Susie. Very well. Um, I'll go with two then. Probably Jackie Stewart, legend. Um, and Schumacher. Michael or Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> Michael. <laughs> to double check. Yeah, it's just to check. Uh, to be or fair, maybe... two, two, two great. Yeah, yeah, true. Two yeah, they're all great. Um, what are your thoughts on how W Series is going so far this year? I think, to me, that's literally the dream. Um, I think it's a really good initiative, and obviously having the two British girls. Obviously, there's not just two of them, but having two. Having of the home home girls yeah, on top fighting quite closely, I think that's amazing. Um, oh, yeah. I can't really choose a favourite. <laughs> no, I mean, you, don't worry, you're not the only one. Every every time there's a race, it's like, oh damn, they're all just they've all got something. Yeah, they do. I think they're all amazing. Um, but yeah, really interesting to see Alice or Jamie and or someone else might mm. swoop in and it's start. There's plenty of time, and it's all fairly tight up up near the front. So yeah. Yes, I, I, I'm loving it. I think it's really good that they're supporting some of the F1 races as well. Mm, I think that was a genius move by, by the F1 people, though, or whoever's, whoever's idea that was. So yeah, definitely, because everybody's now like, oh, what's that? And mm-hmm. actually, you know, promoting all the girls. So I think that's amazing. And again, combine that with the Formula One stuff happening over the tail end of this year and going into next year. Again, it's kind of you've hopped on the train at the right time in terms of uh, trying to get yeah. the driving side of things sorted. So hopefully that, that benefits there as well. And, uh, you know, it may, yeah. maybe, you'll, maybe you'll make the switch over. <laughs> yeah, well, hopefully. That would never, be amazing. Never say never. Do the GT Cup next year and then some kind of single seat of the year after. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you saw it here first, everyone who's watching yeah. it. <laughs> Famous last words, that will be it. <laughs> we'll, we'll do another interview. <laughs> Well, that, that actually went exactly how we said it would. Who would have guessed? Yeah. <laughs> Manifestation. Uh, it, it worked, guys. It worked. Yeah. Um, a oh. few, few fun questions to finish things off. If you were required to get a full body tattoo, what would you get? A 
full body tattoo. Oh. That's, you that's a good place to that one. I did not accept, I have a few t tattoos, but a full body one. Hmm. I might just be ridiculous and say at uh, Scotland flag. <laughs> why not? You'd like to be ridiculous here. You do yeah, it. why not? <laughs> Scottish flag, fair enough. Yeah. Um, and then you can't have racing on this one because I feel like it'd be too short a question. What's your perfect Sunday? Perfect Sunday? Mm-hmm. Oh, perfect one. And I'm not allowed to say any racing. <laughs> no, I made that mistake before with Abby Eaton and she kind of, I've, I've kind of realised, like, yeah, I should have seen that one coming. So I'm not yeah, seen that, that one coming with who you're interviewing. Um, it would probably be at home on um, the island that I'm from. Sunny day, walk the dogs on the nice beach. Um, no racing. No. <laughs> I'm, I really I'm happy there, I? Like my, I'm happiest when I'm on a beach. So yeah. Beach dogs or more do you want nice sunny day? Beach and dogs, yeah, yeah that would be perfect. Then um, again. If you weren't in your current job, obviously, because you wouldn't give this up for this job, or I'd hope not at least, would yeah. you take a weekend job for 20k a year to be a human scarecrow and chase birds from a field? Chase birds? <laughs> for 20 grand? Mm -hmm. You only got to do it for the one year, then you can go back to whatever it was that you were doing or wanted to do after that. It's like a really uh, hard Well, game. to be honest, my hair looks like it would, it would fit the bill. <laughs> But I wouldn't go that no. far. Pro probably not, no. <laughs> and finally, if you had an endless supply of Lego and you couldn't sell them, what would you build? Lego? What would I build with them? Mm. Ooh. Definitely, <laughs> like, a house for my dogs. <laughs> Lego house. Yeah, a Lego house for the dogs. Lego <laughs> bowls, Lego everything for them. No, 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 I can. I mean, James May's done that, I think, with the house before. I don't know if it was the comfiest one to, to sleep in, but you can yeah. work around it, I suppose. Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah. Oh, Something to right. we'll go, we'll go There might be a market there. <laughs> you never know. Everyone's, th everyone's looking at ways to make things better for, uh, on the housing. Lego's been there the whole time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know, you can make it bigger, smaller. Mm -hmm. Just take a few bricks out, sort it. There's your exception. Just take a few bricks out. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Well, it's been a pleasure chatting with you today. I want to thank you again for being on, on the show with me and I uh, want to wish you the best of luck with everything Formula Woman moving forward. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for having me. It was really, really good to meet you. My pleasure. Brilliant to chat with Isla. I want to thank her again for coming to the show and I wish her the best of luck with the Formula Woman competition. Join me again soon when I'll be chatting to another famous face from the world of motorsport. In the meantime, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and check out the other videos on the On The Curves YouTube channel. Away from YouTube, you can find me over on DriveTribe and feel free to follow me on Instagram at t.elbers.daily.drivetribe. You can also find me over on GP Grandstand TV where I'm part of their weekly podcast. Thank you for listening and I'll see you again next week for the next episode.